Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell G315 model. The regulatory model on this one is a P89F001. That information can be found at the bottom sticker on the bottom side of the laptop. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can uh, open it up and how you can replace your keyboard. If your keyboards are some keys are not responding or not working, you can replace it completely without removing the replacing the whole palm rest. I'll leave the link for the if I can find the link for a new keyboard with a backlight. So there's a cable for the keyboard and the cable, the flex cable for the backlight. So we're gonna replace this. These are called mesh keyboards, so the keyboard goes from underneath up. Because the palm rest is one piece that goes in between the keys all the way is all connected. So this has to come from the outside underneath up and is being pinched down by uh, rivets, plastic rivets. So I'm gonna go through the whole process, how to open it up and how to replace the keyboard. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You're not gonna lose any files or data or anything like that. So once you power it off, now we're going to remove the bottom cover. To remove the bottom cover, we're going to be using a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best kits. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And you need a curved tweezers and some kind of plastic spatula. Again, these tools are uh, included in the pro set. Now what we're going to do, we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover and leave them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. The screws on the on the sides and on the front, they can come out all they come out. The back one in here has a little C lock. I mean, the C lock will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So you just have to rotate and then you hear that click and then you want to let go. Same thing on the mid back here, here, and at the corner on the other side. The rest comes out. Once you remove the screws, now all you need to do is to grab your opening tool, stick it between the palm rest and the opening. And just want to twist it, wiggle it around and twist the plastic. And there's no screw under the sticker thing. No, there is. So you want to just rotate, rotate, do this all around in the front and the side. I'm mean, sticking about one millimeter and just wiggle it around until you see that separation. And you might hear a few clicks, that's okay. All right, so now that it's separated, I'm just gonna put my fingers in the front end, bring it up, wiggle it around, and put the, your hand at the back here, and it should release itself. Bring it up, and twist, twist. Let me rotate out the camera in my face. So I'm gonna push it towards the up. Maybe this is is better more. There we go. You can use the opening tool if it doesn't come up wedge out in the back here. Stick it and try to do the same movement in here. You want to hit those clicks. And that will make it easy. And then you want to push it backward here. So you want to scoop this grill back side. So there's the bottom case. Now we're going to put this to one side. All right, down here, this is some papers. You want to clean it once. All right, down here we have the mechanical, or this one has been upgraded to SSD drive. You can add your own SSD drive right here. So we need, in order to get to the keyboard, we need to remove the whole motherboard out. First thing we want to remove is the battery. So we're going to put your fingernails at the side of the jack and you want to pull it back. There we go. Now, you're going to remove the screws in the, touching the battery, one on each side in the front. Is a short screw. Okay. Now you can lift up the battery, pull it out. There we go. We're gonna detach the flex cable for the hard drive. So lift up this lock, lift it up 90 degree, and pull out the flex cable in 45 degree out. Remove the three screws that touches the 
hard drive caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds it, holds the hard drive in place. There's three screws, two on the side, one at the back. Go ahead and lift up the hard drive, put it in one side. Next, we are going to disconnect the trackpad by lifting up the lock and pull back in 45 degree the uh, lock. I'm going to disconnect it from, there's a little adhesive on the bottom here. Lift it up gently and detach it from here too. And put it to one side. Detach the flex cable for the backlight. Pull it out. The keyboard. And the speaker on the left side in here. I'm gonna pull the jack. I'll put my tweezers on the side. I pull the jack out. Okay. And we're gonna detach the flex cable for. I think this is for a webcam for peripherals. It goes all the way. No, this is for the power jack. Yeah, this is for a power jack. Mm, we can leave it on because we're gonna remove the power jack. So let's go remove this bracket here. There's a two screws. Put it on one side. And remove the bracket that goes over the power jack. Now you can lift up the power jack to the other side. Mm, after that, we're going to remove the Wi Fi. So, remove this tiny screw on the Wi Fi bracket and lift up the Wi Fi in 45 degrees. Detach the cable. Detach the cable for the fan left and right. So, I'm going to just wiggle it around from the side. There we go. Now, we're going to remove two screws on each fan. So one screw right there and one screw right on the other side. And remove the fan, put it on one side, remove the two screw for the other fan. Now we're gonna remove the side extra USB ports here, two screws on the board. So remove the two screws. Okay, and we wanna lift it up. Bring it up, put it to one side. Now we're gonna uh, remove the screws on the motherboard. Before we do that, let's go ahead and disconnect it. Pull this flap thing up straight. Sometimes it requires more force. That's the flex cable. There's a little adhesive in here. We are gonna disconnect the motherboard. To remove the motherboard, there's one screw right at the top. It's a flat head screw. So remove this screw, remove the screw between the fans. And let's move the motherboard, see if there's anything else. See anything? Let's remove the speaker, just pull them out, have a little rubbers. You can run the cable for the speakers right here. You have to tangle it around, it goes zigzagging. Now we're gonna lift up the motherboard and the whole thing comes with it. Put the motherboard to one side. Now we're gonna work down here. We need to detach the hinges. So the two screws on the hinges. This is screw, the base for the screw is broken. So you can see it right there. So this is screw, it is broken. You can fix it with some glue, epoxy. Even the base on this side, it was broken. I left it on one side. So we can fix it with an epoxy later on. You don't actually need the screws just for the holding the cover in place. There's enough screw, but if you want to fix it, you can do it. All right, so remove the screw. This one I can't remove because the base is broken. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lift up the hinge. We're going to use a spatula to just with a little harder flat head screw. Put it down there. Just going to right up there we go now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to while i'm pulling it i'm gonna try to release this screw there we go and i'm gonna open the hinge same thing from this side we're gonna open up the hinge bring it all the way up 
Now we can remove the palm rest away from the LCD. We're gonna put the LCD to one side. All right, we are almost there. Now there's a little uh, sheet of protection right in here. We need to peel off this uh, protection. Well, maybe we can leave it on, but it could damage it. Probably, probably not. But I'd rather remove it. We're gonna start on one side. We're gonna this is like a transparent protective film. You just wanna lift it up. But once we're gonna uh, throw up, we're gonna break this rivet. We can just rip this thing off accidentally, so nothing happens. Just try to pull it out. Don't worry if you rip it a little bit, nothing happens. It's not nothing important as long as you take it out and put it back in the same place. So we're gonna put this back on uh, to protect the motherboard touching the metal. Now the keyboard is under here, so there's a chassis here, I'll call it, to hold the keyboard in place. And uh, we need to break these rivets in here. So pretty much you gotta go like this and break it. I'm using a chisel. You can sharpen a better chisel than me. Mine doesn't have any sharpness on it. And what I do, I'll grab a towel or workshop sheet. I just fold, fold. I'll put it in my palm so that it doesn't hurt my palm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start chiseling this rivets that touches this metal bracket. All around, go and start chiseling it out. You have to break these seals right here. Okay, start doing it. And we're gonna get to the other ones. Just get the one that touching the metal bracket for now. The whole bunch in here, but I'm gonna go around. I'll probably have to fast forward this part. They don't wanna watch me break the bracket. This bracket goes through here and comes through here, so there's a whole bunch of them in here. All right, we almost got it done, so I'm going to lift up gently and peel it off. There's one missing in the middle. One in here in the corner. Clean it up, see what else is missing down here. Now that we finished, so I need to know where the flex cable for the backlight is coming, coming through here, going up. So the backlight has to go through here. The flex cable comes right through here. Okay. So that's important to see. Now we're gonna lift up this one. And here we can see the riser for the uh, thing is broken. You can fix this with some super glue type or uh, from epoxy. And now we're gonna put this shield to one side and we're gonna work, clean up the work workplace a little bit. Now the keyboard is broken so you can either start juggling it again, the big rivets, look out for the big ones. You can mark them if you want, you have a sharpie just so you know which one is the one for the keyboard and which one is not for the keyboard. So. There's nothing underneath here, so this one, this one, this one. So mark the ones that you know that goes before the metal sheet. I'll mark it right there, I'll mark it right there, and I'll mark it right there. So I know these ones are that I need to go solder in. So I'm going to start chiseling those out. Don't worry, your keyboard is very damaged. Have to chisel. 
That's okay. You gonna replace it anyway? So. Just be careful with your fingers. All right, now we can go ahead and lift up the cube. Oh, I missed one in the corner. There we are. And I missed one right there, actually. That should be up. Now we have the old keyboard out. So you can see some liquid damage right through here on this portion. Okay, we're gonna put this old keyboard on one side for now. You're gonna, yeah, you see what I mean about mesh? This is the mesh type, and the keyboard goes right underneath. Okay, we're gonna grab the new keyboard. You're gonna set it down, present the keyboard, make sure it goes through holes, and make sure you choose the right keyboard. If you choose an English keyboard, the enter is a different shape, it will not go through the mesh. So you have to choose the correct keyboard for your language. This is a Spanish keyboard, so it has an N, and the L shape for the enter is different. So we're gonna put this one in here. And the next tool that we're gonna be using is a soldering iron. And you need a good soldering iron or uh, any sort of solder iron. I'm gonna be using uh, this one, which is a T100, TS100 soldering station. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, heat up the soldering iron and make sure there's no solder or anything on top, just clean it up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a plastic rod or you can use a key from the old keyboard, just pull it out and use that as a sacrific sacrificial rod. Or you, if you have a 3D printer, a 3D printer PETG or PLA uh, filament you can use, or you can just use a southern iron, just if you have enough plastic in here to just melt it on top, or you can use a sacrificial uh, rod and they can sell them. Or I rather sometimes use the old, pull the space bar from here out and use the same plastic to solder on top. So you can, what you wanna do, you just wanna hold it down and Punch it on top and melt it right on it. But I see I need a little more plastic in here, so I'm gonna use from here. I'm just gonna stick it on. Doesn't matter what color it is. Nobody's gonna look inside the laptop. Anyway, so I'm gonna stick it right on top and I'm gonna punch it right on top. I'm gonna quickly hit it and leave it. Same thing in here, you can punch it, there's enough plastic in here. And use the old keyboard as a reference so you know which circle that you did. So I need that one, I need this one over here. Actually, you don't have to be fussy about it because the bracket is gonna hold it in place, not this rivets in here. So you don't have to be worrying about it too much. Next, what we want to do, we want to grab the main bracket. The bracket is actually the one that holds the whole thing together, so you don't have to worry. Before we do anything, we're just going to disconnect the rip this tape for the backlight. Bring it like this. And you need to fold it right in here. Bring it over here so we're gonna bring this one over here pass this flex cable over i'm gonna uh, fix up this part right here remember that I'm gonna open it back again. I'm gonna fix up this part because it's kind of the hinge on this one. So double check, make sure all those rivets are going through and there's nothing bothering the keyboard or pressing on top 
or anything like that. Just double check everything, make sure the keyboard is nice and flat. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fast forward this part and we're gonna start putting the rivets quickly, heat it up and put as many you can. Remember the screws right there on, on the plastic side is gonna hold the keyboard, everything in place, even in the corners. So the rivets are there like a little bit to help, but the most of the help is coming from the screws. So let's wait for this one to heat up. So I'm gonna fast forward this part and hear what happens. We patched most of the rivets. You don't actually have to do all of them. Is <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. The keyboard's not gonna fall in or fall in. So as long as you do most, the screws are gonna do the rest of the job. Again, this little one over here, it's broken. I'm gonna talk to the client if they wanna repair that. They can bring it back for repair. All right. Now what we're gonna do here? First, before we put this one on, we're gonna grab the screen. We're gonna put the screen right underneath. We're gonna put the hinge right on top and we're gonna close down the hinge. This hinge are really tough and hinge, so we're gonna bring them down and we're gonna lock it in place. Okay. Now that they are locked in, now we need to put the screws for it. There are two screws on here. Let me see. This screw is now going in. I think that's the screw that was from the messed up one. Oh yeah, those screws are that screw is from the top case. So yeah, never mind. So yeah, there's a little arrows beside them. It's like a, they're not even color right there. So the screw in the corner and the screw in the corner. The screw on the other side. So put that screw on the corners. Right there. And this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually put up on a tiny epoxy right underneath. So I'm gonna put the screw right there. Put the screw right for it. I'm gonna hold it with the hinge. There we go. I'm gonna fill up a Fill it in with a little epoxy right in there so it can hold in place. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the shield on top. So bring the shield that you removed. Make sure the screw holds match a little bit. Put it right on top. Doesn't have to be too pretty. Uh, there we have. All right, now that we have that one on top, everything is ready. We want to grab the motherboard. We want to bring the motherboard down, set it down in the correct spot, but make sure the flex cable for the thing it's coming this way down. And now we're going to connect the cable right through the jack all the way in and lock it down. Wiggle it around, make sure it's sitting in place. The backlight, take it right through here. Lock it in. Okay, bring the extension right to the side. Grab the speakers. The long one goes right in here. And you need to you need to zigzag this cable around right in the pad. You can take a picture before you do this so you know where it's supposed to go. We're just taking it this way. 
So running through the path right there. You can't miss the path, it's really obvious. Put it down, connect the cable for the jack for the audio. Place down the, let's go ahead and put, put the fan right in here. And put the other fan on the other side. Put the two screw on each fan. You need to put the two flat screws for the motherboard. One on top. And the other one is between the heatsink. Put the bracket for the power jack. And put the two screws for the jack. You can run the cable wherever you want. Run the cable for the backlight. I mean, for the LCD. So I'm gonna be running it a little more this way so it doesn't get visual trapped right on this connected because that's the All right, so leave it like that and just push down the flex cable. First, let's go ahead and push down the flex cable in place. And later on, we can just put the cable right beside it. Okay, this cable, Wi Fi cable, had to go underneath. So I'm going to remove this fan only. So I'll remove this fan only and you can stick the Wi-Fi cables right through this groove right there and capture it right there. And run it beside the heat sink right there. And bring it up. Run it under the fan connector beside it right there. And put the fan connector inside the jack, just push it in. Put the two screws for the fan. All right, now that we have to put the two screws for the side power uh, USB port. All right, now we have the mouse. We're gonna put the Wi-Fi board. Snap in the connectors right on top. You just push down, it has to make a tiny clip. They do tend to pop out really easy. So just put it right there, set it there, and bring the lock. Put it right over and screw it there. So that way you prevent it from coming out. Okay. Now we're gonna put the trackpad. Open the lock right here. Just slide in the trackpad connector. Is it sliding all the way there and connect it right through here and lock it down. Grab the hard drive with the caddy, put it down in 45 degree connector, lock it down and then set it down and put the three screws for the hard drive. One right there. One right there and one right at the back of the hard drive. Okay, now we are almost done. The last thing you need to do is to grab the battery, bring it down, put the bottom end of the battery right under the hooks, bring it down, put the two screws for the battery. Don't forget the fan cable on this one, connect the fan cable on that, on the left and right side. Put the two screws for the battery. Now, this is important. Make sure the connector for the battery goes in evenly into the motherboard all the way in. And what's in there? Just double check, make sure everything is sitting down nicely. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and you want to hook it down from the back towards the front. And 
and you want to push it down you want to hit those clicks on this front end and then just tighten up that corner on the back this one right here and this one right there in the middle you can push down a little bit gently and there we have it now the last thing is to put the rest of the screw on the sides and on the front end and this is how you replace your keyboard for your Dell G3 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish it up, putting up the bottom screws. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see the keyboard, how it looks. But some people are criticizing, saying that you didn't put all the rivets. You don't need to put all the rivets. The motherboard, the bottom bracket, the bottom case is gonna do the job for you. So there we have it. So let's open it up. All the keys are evenly out. They're evenly spaced, evenly, everything working perfectly fine. There's no bumps or gaps or anything like that.